let's say that I have a contract that inherits multiple contracts. Here we have a contract Z and it inherits from Y and X. When a contract inherits multiple other contracts, then the order of inheritance is important. The order must be from most base-like to derived. So in this video, I'll explain what that means and I'll show you how to write the syntax for multiple inheritance. Here, contract Z inherits from both Y and X. When we declare the inheritance for contract Z, we have to declare it from most base-like to derived. The contract that is the most base-like is the contract that inherits the least. In this graph, which is the contract that inherits the least? Well, Z inherits from both X and Y, while Y inherits from X, and X does not inherit any other contract. So in this case, the most base-like contract will be X. What is the more base-like contract between Y and Z? Again, Z inherits two contracts, Y and X, whereas only Y inherits only one contract, which is X. So in this case, Y will be more base-like than Z. In this case, the order of most base-like to derive contracts will be from left to right, X, Y, and then Z. Let's look at another example. Here the inheritance is similar to the example above, except that now Z inherits from B, which inherits from A, and A inherits from X. Let's list out the order of most base-like to most derived contracts. The most base-like contract here is X. The next one will be either Y or A, it doesn't matter. So I'll just put Y, so the next one will be A. Now we have two more contracts left, B and Z. B inherits from A, whereas Z inherits from both Y and B. So the more base-like contract out of these two contracts, B and Z, will be B. And then finally, Z. That is the order of inheritance from most base-like to most direct. So now I'm going to show you the syntax for declaring multiple inheritance. And for this example, we'll be using this inheritance. X inherits Y, and Z inherits both Y and X. Here we have contract X, it has a function foo, bar, which can be overwritten, and it also has a function that is unique to this contract X, I named it function X. Likewise, the function Y overrides foo and bar of X, and it has a function unique to this contract, I named it Y. I already showed you how to override a function for a single parent contract, so we'll skip the details here. Now I have contract Z and I want this to be inherited both X and Y. So how do I do it? Well, we start with the keyword is to say that this contract inherits from parent contracts. And then we list out the contracts that it's going to inherit. Recall that we said that contract inheritance must be declared from most base-like to most derived. In this case, since Y inherits from X, the most base-like out of X and Y will be X and then comes y, the more derived out of these two. So this is how you declare that z inherits both from x and y. Now if I were to mess this up and then switch the order, then this contract will not compile. Now moving on, these are the two functions that we want to override. And the way to do that is to type override parentheses and inside the parentheses, we need to list out these contracts that we inherited. So here we'll type X and Y. Now it doesn't matter if we put in X and Y or if we put Y first and then X. We'll do the same for the function bar and type override parentheses X, Y. And just to show you that the order doesn't matter, I'll switch this up to say Y comma X. Compile the contract. deploy contract Z and notice that contract Z has four functions. Function X unique to contract X. So Z inherited the function X. Z also inherited the function Y and it customized the function foo and then bar, both returning Z's. 